Hi, my name is John Canavan, and today we'll be talking about the difference between a thermistor and a calibrated temperature probe. The thermistor is a device that changes resistance with temperature, and the calibrated probe changes voltage with temperature, but it requires a voltage source. The thermistor is most commonly used in differential controllers. Okay, we have a heat gun here. We're going to blast it with the heat from the heat gun and see what happens to the resistance. Remember right now the temperature, the resistance is 10.5 K. What do you think will happen to the resistance? So now you can see the resistance is gradually climbing as the thermistor is cooling off. Now the actual temperature of Okay, as you can see, we have our thermistor bound to the calibrated temperature probe. So their temperature should be approximately the same. So let, first let's take a look at the resistance of the thermistor. That would be this meter here. The resistance is 10.6K. Let's write that down. Okay, now let's take a look at the voltage from the calibrated probe. And this is going to represent the actual temperature, remember? 0.78 volts. That's the equivalent of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's change the temperature. We'll add some heat. We have a heat gun here. Okay. Let's take one more reading and then you're just going to have to trust me. We'll make a graph from these points. All right. 8.4 and 8.4 kilo ohms. So, let's make a graph and see the relationship between the resistance of the thermistor and the actual temperature at this junction. Okay, now that you know that the resistance of the thermistor probe is an indication of temperature, see if you can tell me what the temperature of the thermistor probe is now. Well, right now it's 10.3. But let me heat it up a little and see if you can figure out what the temperature is. Okay. Let's just say okay. 3K, 3.4K, 3.5K. Okay, let's say when it reaches 4K, okay, at 4K, what is the temperature of the thermistor? And you can use this graph to figure it out. If you say the thermistor resistance of 4K is equivalent to the temperature of 117 degrees Fahrenheit, you understand how thermistors work. Okay, now the probe resistance is back to 10.4 K. And that means, of course, that the temperature of the probe is what? That's right, it's a little more than 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It might be 76 or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, good. You understand how that works. Now, a lot of people have asked me, how long should
should my extension wire from the probe be? And what kind of extension wire should I use? And I recommend using telephone wire. It doesn't have to be very thick because the resistance of telephone wire is still very low. This is a 25 foot coil of, of telephone wire and I'm going to measure the resistance of one of the wires. See this red wire? It, it contains four wires by the way. So all you're going to need for a thermistor is two of the wires. I'm just going to test the these Okay, we have our probes all right, wires. the end of this wire. Let's see resistance. what the resistance of this 25 foot long bell telephone wire is. Okay, there it is. It's 1.5 ohms. Now that resistance is so low that it doesn't make any difference as far as the uh, 10K thermistor probe is concerned. It's an insignificant resistance. So, and it's, it's very easy to use and very inexpensive. So this is the extension wire that I recommend that you use for your temperature probes. If you say that the mister resistance of 4K is equivalent to the temperature of 117 degrees Fahrenheit, you understand how the misters work.